Haldine from Hello Canada Magazine joins us to talk about a hot new trend. It's about a lady dressing like a lady. It's all about yes. ladylike fashion right now. Ladylike fashion is back in a big way. We've seen it on the runway at shows like Marnie and Gucci. Yeah. Mew Mew, we're seeing it on Street Style, and in the midst of award season with so many wonderful films nominated, we're looking to film and really 50 inspired film, like Carol, like Brooklyn, yeah. and getting our cues for ladylike dressing. It's everywhere, and I can't wait to talk about it. Okay, well let's actually take our cues from the stars. Let's start with yes. Kate Blanchett. So this is from uh, Carol. This is from the film Carol. And what we've seen is it's 50 inspired dressing, remaking sort of ladylike dressing. Kate is really wearing this in the film, but she's transitioning this to her street style as well. Yeah. So using the film as a base and then remodeling it today, we've come up with this look. It's lovely. So it's ladylike, it's streamlined. What I love about this trend is we're really using heritage fabrics like hounds tooth, like mm -hmm. these tweeds, and remodeling them in new ways. Right. It's all about mixing prints. So here we have the polka dotted printed top from Ann Taylor with these amazing pinstripe trousers. These are from Topshop. Nice. Super affordable, but when you mix and play, it adds personality. It gives it, it that spark, that energy, which is what this trend is all about. Right, and instead of maybe rocking that, that fur coat that's real, you do a little bit of a faux fur action faux here. Faux fur action, it instantly adds that touch of luxury. It does. Dresses up even the simplest blazer. This is from Aritzia, it's detachable, play around with it. We've also added these amazing gloves. These are from Holt Renfrew. They're beautiful. It just, especially this time of year when it's cold, you're getting sick of your winter fashion. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to breathe new life into cold weather wardrobe without having to go out and revamp everything. And I did notice that you did the blush in the shoe and the, and the handbag, the which is gorgeous. The blush in the shoe, it just brings it, it makes it a little warmer. And these yeah. are great pieces to transition into spring. This ladylike pump, I can't get enough of them. They're new from Gucci. This ladylike pump is the investment piece of the season. If it they were my size, I'd put them on and run everything. out of the studio. Right, I might, I might race you to them, yeah. tag you out. They're, They're nice. perfect. And they will go with anything, see you through to next season and beyond. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look now at uh, Rooney Mara, also from the same film, uh, Carol. Yep. So rocking that ladylike fashion as well. Uh, she's, got, she's got sort of a more subtle look going on in this picture, but we've translated that to this look, which is actually my favorite out of all three. Amazing. I love this one. What I love about this is it's remodeling that same 50s inspired look, but done in more of a youthful, playful atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Here we're taking a different approach to menswear. Suiting separates are a big trend this season. You'll see them working into your wardrobe, whether it's a vest, a striped blouse. These wide leg trousers are amazing from Aritzia. This is a really, really big color going into spring. Mm -hmm. It's this mustard marigold. We've seen it on red carpets. It's now coming into our office wardrobe. And it look, scares me. It's amazing. <laughs> Anyone can wear it. Just pick one piece. Highlight it. Don't yeah. Maybe don't go head to toe. Mustard. But it works. <laughs> and this handbag is amazing, too. It's the perfect shape. It's ladylike. It's big enough to hold your wallet, your phone, your lipstick, but not so big that you're rummaging for 10 hours trying nice. to find your house keys. <laughs> it's amazing. And this is from Echo. So affordable. Very nice. Okay, you can mention the next actress because you're going to smash this name and I will just blunder I it. I am. You know what? In, in all honesty, I had to ask our entertainment editor before I came here how to pronounce it and it's Saoirse Ronan from the film Brooklyn. Okay, take it a look at amazing. her style. This is very, it seems to be very typical 50s style. You've got the, the nice A-line skirt that really comes out with the crinoline. Very typical 50s yeah. style and we're seeing a lot of celebrities incorporate this kind of look in their everyday, whether it's Taylor Swift, Reese Witherspoon. This is a very wearable trend. Mm -hmm. And here we've done it, this full skirt is amazing. It is the hero item of this look. So flattering, Gorgeous. works with everyone, but it's a modern interpretation on print. It's not just flowers. But mixing in all these colors, you can wear it in so many different ways. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And I understand why it's so accessible. This fit and flare idea is something that is flattering on a lot of different Absolutely. body shapes. Absolutely. And then going up, you can see even little details like this eyelet collar. Amazing. It adds a soft sweetness, but then when you juxtapose it with sort of a bit of an edgier necklace, this one's from L'Envain, it gives it an edge. This wow. is still ladylike, still demure. She's still going to high tea, but... She might be spiking her chamomile. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit 
bit of edge to it. I like you for that. <laughs> that is so cool.